you really, really, really want something in your life, what do you do to make it appear in your life? Well, what I do is I don't even have to talk about it, but I just focus on the desire when I'm meditating and picture what I'd like to have happen. And maybe I'll just think about something that I'd like in my life. Oh, let me tell you something. That this kind of interesting thing happens to me all the time. This morning when I was meditating. I was thinking about how much I enjoy cooking, how much of my life, of my day, every day I spend cooking. I'm a really creative cook. You won't find what I cook any place else. So I'm thinking about wondering, maybe I should teach cooking because people frequently ask me to teach them how to cook. And I just put it aside. I go out to the farm where I get my really special pastured meats. And it happened, they were just super, super busy today. And while I was waiting in line, this person who was in line ahead of me kept talking to me. And she was talking about, well, people who go and buy that kind of meat know that they're conscious and they're not going to be eating chemical foods, <laughs> franken foods, not even real foods. Anyway, so I, I mentioned to her that the only thing I ever use sugar for is kefir. And she said, what's that? And I told her that. And I told her I make all my own food from scratch. Three times while we were waiting in line, she said, would you cook for me? Because I'd pay you. I'd love to have your food. And I thought, okay, that's what I was thinking about just this morning. Only I realized I don't want to go through that process, the health requirements. When I made my cookbook, Christmas Art to Eat, and I also have a set of videos that you can get directions. It's called Christmas Art to Eat. It's edible sculptures, three-dimensional sculptures that I love to put on sale at this time of year because they're so much fun and they're super nutritious to eat and share. So when I want something, I think about it. I don't harp on it. I don't think about it all day long. I don't put it out every day, every day, every day. I just think about it. There it is. And then it's out in the universe. And when the time is right, the universe delivers it to me. So I'm going out to this farm, which is a a little bit of a ride out there because it's out in the mountains, out in the country. So where I live, when you go west, you're going up the mountain and up the mountain and up the mountain and down the steep mountains. And it was, there were some really nasty, dangerous roads on the way out there. And I knew in my heart, okay, there's a safer way to go. So I trusted that I'd know the safer way to go. And what do you think happened? This is my third visit there. And it was the first time I found the very safe way, simple, direct way to get there. So then what happened when I got there, I was running really late. And to get beef liver, if you've ever tried to get beef liver from a place where it's pasture raised, that's quite a task. And I knew their liver always sold out as soon as they opened. I got there 15 minutes after they opened. There were lots of cars, so I knew there were lots of people there. And guess what? They had a huge supply. <laughs> I was able to get all the beef liver that I desired. So when you put it out, when you feel it in your heart, you don't even have to ask for it. The universe just delivers when the time is right. So the other thing the universe delivered to me, how about does this ever work for you? If you enjoy cooking and it's important to cook nutritious, real food, I thought, wow, this is a great idea. I read a recipe where somebody was putting both the chicken and the beef stuff in to make one stock. They got both of them. 
because chicken stock is good for your joints, but beef stock is good for your gut. And when I was doing the chicken and the beef, by the time I filled my Instapot, I only had like a gallon and a half of soup of the broth made. So today I got the idea, actually the universe put the idea, the notion into my heart so I'd be aware of it. Today I have just the beef broth cooking and that'll cook for 24 hours. Then I'll make just the chicken broth and that'll cook for 24 hours. And then I'll have a couple of gallons of each of them and I can combine them and then freeze them in the combination. It'll be a whole lot more food for the work that I do. When you pay attention to what you desire in your heart, the universe brings it to you so long as you desire it in your heart, not even in your mind. Your mind is never going to create the reality you want in your heart. Because when you're in your heart with your desire, you're attaching emotions. And that's what the universe reads. And that's what the universe responds to. I have been looking for very many years because what the brain surgery did in interfering with my digestive system is I've been reading and following all the different special diets. And I realized I haven't found the one that I really want that's going to be dramatically life-changing yet. And there are some really spectacular ones, like the GAPS diet, which was originally created to help people with autism, or the Weston Price diet, which is he went around the world to the, all the indigenous populations, studied what they ate, and put together his program. Now, those make good sense to me. However, there was something still missing. And it all came together when, okay, what you want and you desire in your heart, the universe acts on it, delivers it to you. Many years ago, during the realization that grains are not good for you, that grains are very damaging to your health, one of the leading authors was William Davis, MD, and he wrote the Wheat Belly books. Well, the universe told me, open this email and see what's on sale over at Audible. Now, I talk to you about Audible every week, so you know I'm doing something that has to do with Audible every week. I open that email, and there's a two-for-one special. Buy one book, get one the other one free. And what do you think is there? A book I didn't even know Dr. Davis had written that had the exact, exact information that I knew I needed to heal my gut, because when you really study nutrition, you will find all disease happens from the food and the pretend food and the combinations of food that you are putting in your body. So I get the book that I've been wanting for free. I'm on my third listen to it, and it has absolutely wonderful recipes in it. And for me to follow somebody else's recipe without altering it, that's about the highest compliment. I can pay somebody. So I will show you what book that is. So you can go after, check it out, decide for yourself. Anyway, so what are some other things that are exciting that you put out to the world and you just put it out and then you let it go? I went into one of the big box stores today because there happened to be one right close by to the farm where I was buying my meats and my eggs. And when I go into a store, I just let the universe guide me which aisle to go down to find what is in the store for me to get. 
And that's exactly what I did today. And I went down the aisle and I saw, okay, the coat I thought I wanted was really not very attractive. <laughs> so I didn't want that. However, what you think was right next to the coat, the children's books and toys and games. So I found absolutely, in my opinion, be darn sure, perfect holiday gifts for my grandchildren. I then let the universe guide me which aisle to walk down so I'll get to the shortest line because I couldn't get the program on my phone to work because I didn't understand why it wouldn't work in this new place. And anyway, it doesn't matter why, because I got help from the right cashier who knew exactly what was going on. And en route to that guy, I walked by. I've been looking for a couple of months for a set of flannel sheets, pure cotton flannel sheets for my bed. And in the size I wanted, I haven't been able to find them anywhere. And there they were, not in the normal aisle where all the other sheets and bedding stuff was, but in the aisle that I happened to walk down. And I then followed that aisle to the front and I got, it wasn't even a line. Well, there was one couple ahead of me and I put my stuff up there to check out. Do you know that in the rest of the store, people were in line going way down the aisles? Why don't people check the ends? How about you when you go shopping? Do you ever think to look at each end instead of going in the middle where everybody else goes? That was neat. Anyway, what do you want to do in your life that's different for you? What would you choose to do today that you want in your heart to come into your life? And how are you going to make that happen? When you feel it in your heart, trust the guidance that's coming. Because I guarantee it's coming 100% of the time, nonstop. Your guides, your angels, the universe are all communicating to you nonstop exactly the guidance to let you have your very excellent life. I'm going to take a quick commercial break here right now. I've got a patch here today. And what does this patch do? It makes sure that I don't need to have surgery to correct. Remember, I had broken this wrist. And in the healing process, a bunch of nerves got pinched. Well, this patch heals that situation so I can use my hand, I can use my arm, I can do push-ups again, which I haven't been able to do for eight months. And it's because this patch helps everything to heal the way nature intended. If you're looking for something to stop a hurt, I'm talking about usually in a minute, in a couple minutes, even if it's been happening for many years, to give you more energy, better sleep, better digestion, anything that is bothering you, contact me and we'll talk about how you can stop suffering because there's no need to suffer. The universe is directing you to me so I can make that happen for you. The information make that happen well, like everything else, be in the show notes. What else is happening for you that you were afraid to admit you didn't really want in your life right now? Because you were afraid it couldn't happen? I was able to reconnect with one of my best friends in the whole world. She probably knows me better than anybody else in the whole world. And she lives on the other side of the world from me. And we were able to connect 
on a video call for a long time, like we used to do, oh, 25, 30 years mm -hmm. ago. It's really nice to be able to talk to you right now this way. And I thank you very much for joining me here today. I am Reverend Allie Bierman, and this is Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember that Audible will always have an offer for you through my link. You can go and choose the audiobook of your choice because it comes with a 30-day free trial. You can go and check out some of the podcasts. You won't find any place but on Audible. The books, the programs that they have, you're not going to find them any place else. Not for the deals. I have the highest level, so I get to get all these free books every month in addition to the one that I pay for. And that link will be in the show notes. And please join our Facebook group. Ask a question. Get the extras that go in there beyond what you're seeing here now. And join our community supporting the podcast because it takes a lot of work. It takes expense to make it happen. And I really appreciate if you got something added today to share word of mouth, directly contact at least two friends and tell them, hey, there's something here for you. Take a listen, subscribe so you never miss an episode. And remember, you can always find every one of our episodes, audio or video, on our website, and you can enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life, nothing in your world happens outside of you. As Deepak Chopra points out, is there a world outside of you? I look forward to seeing you here next time.